Hi, my name is Will Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film, and also proud Phoenix Global Artist Ambassador. Today, I am thrilled to be speaking with businessman extraordinaire, Lorenzo Borghese. For more on Lorenzo, you can read more about him right below this video. But in the meantime, here is a sneak peek at his incredible South Beach Brewing Company. Well, hello, Lorenzo. How are you? I'm well. Good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Well, so great to meet you. And well, I'm speaking to a Renaissance man. You kind of do it all. And I want to really, though, today tap into your business ventures and the entrepreneur mind that you have. I'm curious to know: Have you always had that business savvy about you? Uh, it wasn't really the business savvy. It was that I didn't want to really work for anybody but myself. Yeah. Um, I, I was at AIG for many years and although I enjoyed it, um, I knew I would never be CEO and I knew I'd always be reporting to people there. And, uh, for some reason, I, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> well, Lorenzo, I can relate. I, I, I hear you loud and clear. Um, you know, what I love so much that I also want to really lean into today are these two buckets that you have, not only as an entrepreneur and a businessman, but your advocacy for animals. And um, um, first, regarding the advocacy for animals, how you began um, Animal Aid USA? How did that come about for you? Uh, I've always grown up with dogs and I absolutely like love dogs. And um, I was lucky enough to be chosen as a bachelor in 2006, which opened up a lot of doors for me, especially in New York. And I would get these private invites to um, a lot of animal welfare, welfare organizations, including uh, the Animal Care and Control of New York. And I was provided exclusive access to the back of the facility. In the back row is where all these dogs are in cages. There's rows of cages in the last rows, the dogs that are being euthanized that day. And I had no idea how these operations work and it was horrifying to see. And at that point, I knew I wanted to make a change. I started getting involved with a lot of uh, New York City animal rescue groups and going to all the charity events. And I was at the Humane Society of the United States dinner and someone said, you've got to talk to Karen. She's saving animals. She lives in New Jersey. Here's her number. I called her. She came in the next day into, into New York, brought a DVD of a video of her saving dogs. And I said, how are you paying for this? And she says, I take out credit cards. And I said, do you pay yourself a salary? Does anyone get a salary? No. She said, and I said, all right, I want to work with you. And so in 2012, we launched Animal Aid USA as a, you know, a not-for-profit uh, organization where no one gets paid. Everyone's a volunteer. And I just wanted to make sure people were doing it for the right reasons. And since that day, we've saved over 33,000 dogs. Oh. It's all been done from people that are doing it just because of their passion. No, no, no checks to anybody, which is great. <laughs> but Lorenzo, you know, the fact of the matter is like being a businessman, but also a great person that you are, that you came in just to even make sure that everything was done right and that everyone's North Star was the same thing for these dogs. Um, that's incredible. Well, you know, they say a dog is a man's best friend for a reason, and they are incredible. And the fact that we are destroying these animals purely for financial purposes because you know it's an expense to keep them is just something really horrible to see and 
there were things that, you know, they were killing dogs at the time with, with the gas chamber. They put in, you know, 10 to 15 dogs at a time. And knowing this was happening and how terrified these dogs were because they, they smelled, I guess, you know, other dogs that had been in there and they were terrified to go in there. And I've seen these videos and seen what goes on there. And these dogs know they're about to die and I couldn't let it happen. And, um, you know, everyone has, has something that they have a passion for and mine on the not-for-profit side are, are saving dogs. That's amazing. Well, being a doggy daddy for two Maltese's, um, they're asleep right now, but uh, they thank you as well. Yeah, well so. <laughs> do you have any, what kind of dogs do you have now? I have a Woodle. Uh, her name's Tina Turner. She's in the other room right now. I love it. Great name. And of course, I'm married to an Italian. So we have two. Um, my husband's last name is Amadeo. So my Nunziata. So we have Bella Amadeo Nunziata and Vincent. Uh, oh, very nice. Amadeo yeah. Nunziata. Full Italian family there. You know, I mean, I, I prepped for the interview. I only, you know, this is like nice. I get to speak yeah. to a fellow Paisan. Now, listen, on the business front, my friend, I want to talk, you know, you've, you've had a lot of business ventures, but the one right behind you that you're doing such great branding with uh, for today, I want to talk about the South Beach Brewing Company. Hey, it's my here. office. This is my office. I love it. And I, <laughs> you know, I want that, that. See, like, I would just want a beer for that sign. Just because it's, well, the sign is is happy. I, I, I told our artists to make something that's very South Beach um, with the bright color. So it's actually a sun. It's also a compass and it's a smiling sun because it's happy. The background is a blue sky. You have palm trees in there, the ocean and the sand and the latitude and, and longitude of South Beach. And I said, this is perfect for the brand. Oh, I love smiling it. Smiling sun. I mean, it's simple, but it's like, I literally, you see me leaning in. And yeah, oh, well, good. I'm glad it's working. I'm just making it first. <laughs> but what I also love so much about this company, these are handcrafted beers, but they're brewed with 100% real juices, plus like some sort of special electrolyte. Can you go into it for me? Yeah, well, um, I wanted to be different, you know, to compete with the big brands out there. It's really hard uh, just starting a beer company with everything that's going on um, right. and not having, you know, the capital of billions of dollars to, to back it up. But when I was building this company, I looked at the Florida license plate and on the license plate is an orange. And that's because, you know, Florida is the citrus capital of the U.S. And I said, all right, let me be really true to Florida and focus on what Florida is known for, which is citruses and these so natural smart. ingredients. So I wanted to be true to the state and true to Florida, obviously, in, in many ways. And one thing was to add natural juices from Florida to our beers. The other thing with Florida is that, especially now in August, is extremely hot. And we know that drinking alcohol is dehydrating. So I've been adding electrolytes to the formula since 2017 when we launched the brand. And, um, you know, I play golf with the beer and then I I'm actually play a lot of tennis. And after I play tennis, the first thing I do if I win is I reward myself with, with one of our beers. Wait, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big tennis player. Love okay. tennis. I almost played for Boston College, but chose theater. Ah, so you're good. That's for another time, another day. But next time I'm in West Palm Beach, I'm going to hit you up because yeah, I love. Let's play. Let's play, baby. And yeah. also, you know, forget the power rate and the Gatorade. You know, like we're going to get some beer. Well, and and you get the vitamins from the natural juices. So, so there's like no that. guilt, huh? There's no like guilt. You know what I mean? Because sometimes we oh, no, no, there's beer, no guilt like, at all. No, like it's pleasure. That's why like South Beach is. You know, you, you have Corona as the vacation beer. And I said, there was no real vacation beer for the U.S. And that's what I wanted to sort of be was, was a U.S. version of the, you know, Corona, where we found our beach. And our beach is right here in the U.S., right down in Miami. And it's a beautiful beach that has, you know, that uh, really nice blue water, white sands, the coconut palm trees, like everything you think about when you're on vacation. And, and our beer is all about the, you know, a vacation mindset. We even trademarked the uh, the slogan I love right now, which is on our cans and on our bottles. So when you look at it, you you remember to like enjoy this moment. This is something that you've earned and you better love right now. Lorenzo, I mean, you don't know this about me, but my dad was uh, still with us, but he was big guy at Saatchi and Saatchi for many years, VP, uh, creative director. And, you know, just growing up with like this whole notion of like the emotional takeaway, I'm looking at your, you know, what you have behind you, plus everything that you're saying, I already emote, I've never had one. I will, you know, yeah. like, 
I like, I'm already feeling the emotional takeaway of what you're providing. But on top of that, the fact that you're so freaking smart to add like the electrolyte, but also make it floor, like going back to keep it simple, stupid. You know, what is it the capital of? The citrus yeah, capital. And then, and then to do one of the things that no one's really done is uh, I trademarked the brunchbeer.com. And I came up with that concept because if you go to South Beach, they're known for their brunch parties. Their pool parties, like every weekend they have big brunch parties. So I created the official brunch beer. What is it? Strawberry, sure. orange, mimosa? Strawberry, orange, mimosa, of course. So like, it's got real orange juice in there. It is so damn good. It's our fastest growing beer. Um, and it's, it's, it's my favorite weekend beer, but people, we've gotten so many emails on this saying they start drinking it in the shower. It's a morning shower beer and they drink it throughout the day. Wait, but it's something wait, wait. now an excuse to drink in the morning. Thank always, you. Always an excuse to drink in the morning. But I was thinking about, you know, doing things that other breweries couldn't really replicate. They could replicate it, but they couldn't be authentic to it. So you can do a strawberry and mimosa out of New York, but they're not growing oranges in New York. You know, that's they, right. They, so I just wanted something that was really focused on what Florida is known for. And uh, and we're authentic to the state in, in, in many ways. I love it, Lorenzo. Well, listen, um, I could speak with you forever. You're a busy guy, but I'm so grateful for your time, but also just excited to, you know, that you're coming on board this, this new platform that's going to celebrate artists of all types. And what you do is art because you're in the art of, you know, not only, you know, selling, but also making people feel good. And with South Beach Brewing Company, that's exactly what you're doing. I mean, look at that sun behind you. That's my yeah. insides right now. And I haven't even had a sip today. Well, I'm glad it's working and, you know, and I do feel like really excited about being able to be part of people's lives too, because I know when people are drinking these beers that, you know, that me and my team have created and also our artist is a famous artist who, who, if you go into South Beach, as soon as you get to over the 41st Street Bridge, it says, welcome to Miami Beach. He painted that mural. So he welcomes you to South Beach. And as soon as you get there, you know, you feel like you're on vacation. I, and I feel like I'm part of everybody's vacation that's drinking these beers and enjoying themselves. And hopefully I can put a smile on their face. And uh, as I say, take their taste buds on a liquid vacation and make the day just a better day, especially during these difficult times. You know, we all, we, we all need to, to celebrate. And I believe that when people open up a beer, they're celebrating either it's with their family, their best friend, uh, but it's usually something to celebrate. I'm glad I'm part of it. Well, God bless you, Lorenzo, for all Thank that you do. Thank and you. Putting a smile not only on the human's faces, but dogs as well. And um, I'm so grateful to have met you. I've known about you for years, so it's an honor to speak with you. And uh, I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Thank you. All right, Sam, here. I'll see you down in Florida. Can't wait. We'll right, tennis match, baby. You're on. Here all we right, go. Right, Bye. Talk to you later. In the age, artists and bands struggle to make a living. In fact, only a small number of artists can live off their craft. For the 98% of artists that don't have the luxury of being signed to a label, it's tough. But artists deserve to live off their art. Wherever you are around the world, appreciation of music does not change. Phoenix brings bands and their fans together, whilst allowing bands to properly monetize their passion. The Phoenix app will directly connect bands and fans with no need for middlemen. We're utilizing the blockchain to give the power back to the artists once and for all. Join Phoenix, join the change.